Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be replacing a fan motor in a Brone bath fan. It is the S80U, I believe. It is a retired fan, no longer can get it. We have to replace the motor instead of the whole motor fan plate assembly. Let's rip into it and see what we're up against. I've already got my ladder with some blankets laid out. That way we're not gonna scratch the floor, not gonna scratch the walls, the toilet, nothing. The switches are off. So we're gonna climb up here. Kinda have to turn around on the ladder. It's a funny placement. And here's our ceiling fan. Here's our ceiling fan. The best way, well, the way to take the grill down, you just pull it down, and then you've got just two clips. You just push them together, and they come down. Now it looks like we're gonna have to take the whole plate out, so we'll have to take the grill right off. So take the grill off, just place it where it's not gonna fall. Next up, we have to take this plate out because the fan blades are on top so we can't just take this bracket off so we'll just unplug this first then we're going to there's one screw here that looks like that's all that's holding it so we got just one Robertson screw We'll take our flip bit, find our number eight Robertson. We're just going to take this screw out. Don't lose this screw. You're going to need it to put it all back together. And it's already coming down. So it should just come out here, hopefully. Let's hold it. There we go. Now we'll take this outside with oh, trying to knock all the dust off of it. And then we'll work on it outside. Got it outside. We're on the stairs here. I am not entirely sure. So the fan cage just pulls off, you can knock it off outside here. These fans are from, I want to say, the early 2000s, so they're getting up there, they're pretty old. Now all we should have to do is take these four bolts off and the fan should come out. Figure out what size we need here. Put it back together. Don't want to lose tools. Looks like that's all it is. Take our four nuts off. I think this is totally the right size, but it's working. It's not, but it... Oh, this one might be. Let's put this back. What's this one? This one is too small. So, we have to go with the one that's too big. It works. Let's just tighten them back down, or loosen them off, sorry. And then our motor should just come out of there. So this guy is seized. Not seized, but it's, it's chunky. It no longer is smooth. Then we just need to... I 
I didn't bring my blower with me. If I have to go back to the shop, I'll grab it and blow everything off. Now, we'll grab our new motor. have to change the just change the holes so okay because they're discontinued nothing works easy anymore so let's move our rubber stops over hard to not automatically assume that someone else screwed up even though I did get this from a heating wholesaler like an HVAC wholesaler it's hard not to panic just try all your avenues before you freak out like this we're able to keep going okay there we go now it should just be a matter of sliding our in the back. Interesting. Can we get this one off without losing the back? Slightly better. How's that? That's better. That should at least do something. So we're just going to take our, push it through, our motor is still sitting in the center, put our nuts on, they should just self-center. snug these up with my channel locks before we throw it up. That way we know they're nice and tight. Throw that one on so we don't lose it. Then we should be able to just push the fan. Is it keyed? It doesn't look like it. Push it back on. We're oh, on the wires. Like we're rubbing on something. We pull the wires out here. It's 
spins nice and free. We're pr exactly where the other one was sitting. Now we just need to take off the wire off the other one here, which I don't have a grounding spot. Oh, I can ground it right here. So we can ground it there and then we'll just splice this on here since I don't have a nicer way of doing it. So we'll just take this off and we'll ground it there once I get this off here. Takes a hot minute. It's a long bolt, goes all the way through the case. Oh, it was unscrewed a while ago. Okay, now let's just grab my Strippers, we'll grab Scarlet. And some Rets. Just need a couple small guys. This guy close to there. Strip these. Oh, we can. Let's shorten this up a little bit. to make life a little easier. There we go. Now, we're gonna ground this, or bond it, sorry. And then we're going to some marats on it. Okay, and we lost our bit because I didn't follow my advice underneath it okay we need this to put it back in I'm gonna grab my channel locks and snug all those nuts up say these need to be super tight just a little bit past snug there we go and then I've got zip ties inside so we can zip tie everything nice here that way we don't have 
bunch of extra wire and we can install it. Oh, don't slam the door. Now, we just need to put it back in and test it. Grab our screw, because it falls out without it. And then just reverse the process. Come up. Little hint, your angled side is gonna be angled where your connector is right here. So you just wanna match it up. These go, this side went up first to clip into the housing and then just push it up. And then we will take our screwdriver with our number eight. So we just reinstall the screw here without ripping my fingers open on the fan. Then we can plug the connector back in like so and we can turn the fan on. Now it should be sucking and it feels like it's sucking. quiet as it would have been before and I will grab some zip ties to zip tie all these wires up nice and then we can put the cover on. Now we'll put our zip ties in. When you do this you just want to make sure that you don't zip tie to anything that needs to move. We've got this nice sleeving here. So what I'm going to do is zip tie the sleeving to what's sharp because it won't cut like so. And then everything else can just be zip tied in a bundle like so. the switch still works nothing's rubbing now we just got to cut off their our two zip ties and put the cover on next up use our nipex side cutters and just cut our zip ties off flush reinstall our fan grill. So opposite process that it went in, all it is is in the little slots here, you just pinch them together in the slots and then just push it up to the ceiling. Simple. Done. even still works.
Sorry, it didn't work before. Now it works again. That's all there is to it. Super simple. As long as your switch is off, you won't have power. If you're uncomfortable, you can shut the, if you turn the light on, it will then, once you shut, you can go down, shut your breaker off. When this light goes off, you would then know when your power is off. If you still can't figure it out, just shut your main power off. Electrical is not for everybody. And if you're nervous about it, simplest thing, just go to the top where it says main principle and shut off that breaker. Then you're safe. You don't have to worry about anything. And just like that, the clients now have a working bath fan in their toilet room again. Till next time, just remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.